Hey viewer, welcome to a new Vegas Mods video. Today, we're going to be looking at Cabot's Quest by EA6T. This is not a mod I've played before, but I, I've been aware of it for some time. And it seemed like it had some really nice uh, just production qualities. You know, the, the mod page has this whole... Uh, like little folder flop out, like you know, you're you're reading this fancy document telling you where to go do the quest. Quite immersive, if you care about that sort of thing. But uh, it basically just tells you to go right around here. And, uh, that should be fun. This is, I believe, supposed to be the Cabot guy from Fallout 4. And to be honest, I always thought that whole story thread was kind of stupid, but I don't know, maybe this mod will impress where Bethesda failed. Might I ask the year we're in? Might I ask why you just exploded? It's 2281, why are you asking? Then it really did work, more or less at least. I'll have to make a few calibrations when I get back. I configured a prototype time machine, I suppose you'd call it, to transport me 200 years into the future. It seems I was several years off. But no matter. My name is John Cabot, by the way. Is there anything important that has happened in the world since 2076? Hmm. Well, there was a global nuclear war. Advanced robots rebelled and took over the world. Um... <laughs> so... Uh, th there was the nuclear war. That was kind of a big one. Oh, God. I knew there was a reason Las Vegas looked so sorry. I was aware the situation was dire, but I never would have expected it to come to this. This will have a significant effect on the quality of research I'll be able to conduct, but I think I can still fulfill my main objective. Say, are you interested in helping a scientist with his work? Uh, does it involve making your time machine not cause you to explode? Because I feel like we should get on that right away. I require help building or securing a certain electrical sensing apparatus. The type my father used when he found the lost city of Ubar in Arabia. Oh, okay. To start, I need to make contact with someone who knows where to find things. So do you think you could help? Yeah, I could help you. See, I thought... When I was reading the description of this mod, I thought this guy was the... The dad of the Cabots, the one who's down in the asylum. I guess this is just the, uh... The son... John, Jack, Jingleheimer, Schmidt, I can't remember any of their names, it's been forever since I, like, seriously played Fallout 4. Um, but yeah, I'll help you out. Wonderful! If this turns out the way I hope it will, your compensation will more than justify the work you'll be putting in. I'm searching for an ancient city under the Mojave, one of a lost precursor civilization. To do that, I need an electrical sensing apparatus. The design of the specific machine I'm searching for hasn't changed significantly since 1894. I need you to put me in contact with someone who knows how to get specific materials. You said Las Vegas wasn't hit, didn't you? I'm sure you could find someone with the skills I need in one of the casinos there. Do you think you can do that? I think? Hey, I'm an expert on finding specific materials. Really? Well, that's just fantastic. I bet you'll be able to locate a Pelman high-powered coil around here, then. Mm, that's a little out of my league. Ah, no worries. We just need to return to the original plan, then. Do you think you can help me find someone capable of locating this item? It shouldn't be too hard, question mark? I'll set up camp while you do that, then. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You do that. Try not to explode. Cabot's Quest 1. So the mod author apparently didn't uh, waste any effort trying to name these quests, but that's fine. Okay, so uh, do we have to go in one of the casinos? I hate when I have to do that. I mean, not really, but, you know, I don't want to set up my odd keys Hold again. On. Welcome back to Gamora. I know you're good for it, but you're still going to have to leave your weapons with me. Sure. You'll get these back on your way out. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing they didn't check the storage compartment. <laughs> uh, why the hell would this guy be here? Pour me another drink. Ah, a drinker. Yep. 
So what are you doing here? Looking for some, uh, oh. company? Like everyone else? Um, well that guy's levitating. That's pretty interesting. Um... I'm helping someone look for a person who knows where to find things, and does stuff, and perhaps reads words. Oh, yeah? I think I might fit that bill. Who are you working for? A time traveler. John Cabot. He's a scientist living in outer Vegas. Very recently moved in. Oh. Well, I'll pass on this one then. I don't deal with science types. I'm always trying to do tests on you and whatnot. Uh, I know from experience. I'm sure there's someone else around here who could help you, though. Good luck. Well, I'm, I think he's more of the electrician-type scientist, so there's not really any need to worry about that. Uh, oh. So we do we actually do have to find somebody else? Okay, well... What brings someone like you to Gamora, besides the fact they probably won't let you in anywhere else? Taking a break from the waste. I'm a prospector, but as you can see, I'm a cut above most. Got enough caps to get through the gate, thank God. Hmm. Are you sure you can't help John Cabot? Yeah, I'm sure. I've just had a bad record with these kinds of guys. It's not really something I want to take a gamble on. Alright, well I've got to get going then. I'm not going to help you drink yourself to death. See you. Alright, so I think... Unless I'm misremembering a different mod description, but I think the mod author said dead. This time for good. that they voiced all the characters in this mod, and uh, so far it's pretty good. Well, this is kind of annoying, really. Okay, so we came here to talk to this guy for him just to say no? Well, this is a little weird. I mean, they... If we're gonna have to talk to a whole bunch of people, maybe we could have, like, had the option to, like, go to any of them first. You know, just so we have, like, a 33% chance to get the right one the first time, the instead of just having to go talk to him, which is apparently completely pointless. Unless they're still in here? Ah, they're not even in here, huh. That's a weird design decision. Where are we headed next? Wait, what? Where the hell are we going? Ooh, the Ultra Lux, alright. Maybe something a little classier. Look at the loot menu. Caps, huh? Just the place. Do those ever respawn? I don't believe they do. Yeah, so I like that all the characters we talk to aren't like immediately like, yeah, sure, we're on board, but Beg your still. Pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Could I trouble you to blow it out your ass? How frightfully uncouth. I'm afraid I must insist you relinquish your weapons. Fine. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Hmm. Please, enjoy your stay. Hmm. Yes, we prefer to brandish our sticks here. Alrighty then. Uh, you by chance right over there? I guess those kings finally got who's the real boss around here. Let's see here. And then I said to her, maybe if you looked in the other cave, you would have found it. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> oh, looks like we have company. Okay, well, you guys sound well, like Well, howdy, brothers. partner. The name's Jules Turner. You need something or someone found? I'm the one to call. What a coincidence. I do need something, someone who knows where to find things. Um... So what are you guys doing here? Just in the corner. We're just here drinking vodka out of coffee mugs. The Western method, as I like to call it. <laughs> hey, we even have some to spare. Here, have a try. You'll never experience anything like it. 
Really, the coffee mug changes the composition that much. Interesting. Uh, what's your story, Jules? Well, I don't have much of a story. People call me when they need something found. I tracked down lost items, stolen items, rare items, people. Hell, I could find you a gecko with a god complex, so long as the price is right. <laughs> Why, that's a reference to Gecko Jesus of Al Chesbridge lore, isn't it? <laughs> Very tasteful reference. Okay, um, what are you guys doing here again? Uh, I'm looking for someone who knows where to find things, and that is apparently you? Then you've got the right person. Let's head somewhere less crowded and talk terms. Alright, who the hell are you? Crowley. Our own president murdered. Things aren't looking good. Speak for yourself. Come on, Proxima, we gotta shut the door behind us. Come on! Christ almighty. Ah, the other corner. This is a much more suitable place to discuss terms. Who are you? Are you anyone? I, I'm not really gambling. I'm just hoping to be seen here. People will think I'm rich. Well, people will think you're important, and you're not. All right, partner. Looks like we have you cornered here like a pesky old varmint. Excuse me? Look, my friend, you're not getting out of your life. So, any last words? Um, this... This comes across as a profoundly stupid idea. How's that for last words? Sorry, friend, but this frontier is closing, and I want to make sure we're on the right side of it when it does. What? Okay. Alright. Little did you know, I know Kung Fu. And I just punched my dog, damn it. Okay, Proxima. Looks like I'm gonna need this after all. Just one will do. <laughs> oh. I have other guns. I did not realize that. Well, I already got it out. Okay, sir, I'm gonna need you to step back. Don't kill me! <laughs> what is going on here? Did you cross this... this mess? Um... No, those men attacked me. Uh, please, clear out then. I need to get someone to clean this up. Yes, uh, I'll just, uh, put this away. <laughs> Wouldn't want to ruin the atmosphere. Well, I didn't think I'd get to use that missile launcher today. Looks like everything worked out. Baxter. Opportunity. Hello. As you know, I've been looking into leads, and I think I've found something. You know the Ultralux on the Strip, right? I've been able to make a deal with the White Glove creeps that run that place. They get the bodies, we get the goods. You feel me? Yes, I know I haven't had the best record with these things, but just, uh, look. Just come over if you're interested. I'll be in the place. Jules Turner. Alright, well that was weird. Now what was this? A picture? I got a picture of Johnson... what's his face? Huh. Interesting. My legs are broken. That's to be expected, honestly. Oh, I actually very did nearly kill myself. Okay. Well, that didn't work out. So is Little Devil a holdout weapon? I didn't. I actually did not know that because it's a massive, extremely loud pistol. Interesting. All right. I'm gonna guess our next stop is the, the tops. Oh, there we are. Mind if I scoot in? Touch the knees? Hmm? Hello, sir. You don't watch the shows as well? 
Uh, well, they don't start for like another four hours, so... I'm looking for someone who knows where to find things. Are you? As a matter of fact, I happen to be someone who knows where to find things. And business happens to be a bit slow at the moment. I'm interested. What are you looking for? Uh, some parts for an electrical sensing apparatus. I'm working for a scientist. He has the details. Hmm. All right. I'll meet with the scientist. Where will we be able to find him? I don't know. Somewhere over there. I'll get going then. I'm sure you'll be returning to him as well. I'll meet you there. Well, that was easy. We should have came here Hello. first. Why am I frozen in place? Okay, is this room like about to explode or something? I have not had very much luck. I guess CR's those today. kings finally got who's the real boss uh -huh. around here. Stop talking those to my dog, ma'am. We've shown everyone. Oh, Chris Almighty. Thank you for your support. For taking part in something great. I'll be setting up in the house nearby for now. I'll discuss the details with your assistant. Oh yes, that would be me. I am the assistant. Here to assist Dr. Cabot. We both talk like this now, so we're friends. You're back. Good. I see you found a suitable man to help me. As you can tell, I went scavenging while you were away. I collected a few scrap items and even killed myself one of those giant mantises. The bounty of my spoils should be self-evident. That was a very heavily armed I'm mantis. not known to be the best cook, but here, have a piece. Be careful. I think it may still be slightly irradiated. Once we have found what I am looking for, there will be a much more substantial reward for you, so please be patient. Anyways, I've told our friendly detective here what I require. If you wish to continue to help me, he can give you the assignments. Wait, what? If you ever want to discuss anything with me, I'm all ears. Mantis Scramble. Why did you have me hire a guy who's just gonna tell me what... what? Oh, what the hell? This is a skill book? Interesting. No thanks on the vodka. Mantis scramble. My god! That is... <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, well, it will kill you with the rads. 184 for 10 seconds. But if you can survive that, you're basically god. What the hell happened here? Like... It... Did the mod author do this on accident? Is this on purpose? Oh, that, that is uh, bizarre. I know, approximately. You could probably take it. You got a stronger stomach than I. Uh, actually, huh. I guess this would be pretty useful if you had, like, lead belly. By that, I mean you would be basically indestructible because you'd have 230 HP for 30 seconds. Good lord. Good to see you. Did you want to discuss anything? Yeah, this miraculous food. What would you like to know? Uh, where do you come from? I mean, I already know that, but I'd like to hear it from you. I come from Boston, Massachusetts. My family has been residing there for over 200 years. Because we're superheroes. Though I suppose it would be closer to 400 at this point. It's troubling to think of what its current status could be. My family and I are not quite ordinary. We have been alive for a long time. So long, even, that we've had to change identities to avoid suspicion. John Cabot is not my real name, but that's all I'll say for now. The voice actor doing a good job of uh, emulating that... that nerd voice that he has in Fallout 4. Uh, what makes you think there's something to be found here? I have good reason to believe that the Mojave Desert is the location of an ancient buried city of an antecedent civilization. A civilization that played a foundational role in human history in its early development. One with technology that defies comprehension. This work was started by my father when he excavated a city in the Rubahari. I inherited his mission when he became incapacitated. There are some details of the motivations for my work that I would prefer not to share. I have had no shortage of embarrassments and shame. Nonetheless, my work is of great significance. I will stop at nothing to find the answers I am seeking. Yeah, so I don't mind um, aliens and supernatural stuff in Fallout when it's just like a goofy side quest. But when you try to make it canon, which it feels like Bethesda is trying to do, like, what a great way to undermine 
a franchise that's about the fallout of humanity's decisions, you know? That name just, that name means multiple things. Um, what can you tell me about the world before the Great War? You mean the 21st century? Relative to the times before, it is an era of unprecedented crisis and possibility. Technology has advanced to a remarkable point. The consumer robotics market is booming, and transportation developments have simplified travel. On the other side, however, are profiteering and weak consumer protections, along with an ever-growing demand for new energy sources. I don't pay much attention to current events, but the world I left was on the brink of a massive conflict, one that has apparently played its course. Uh, why did you decide to come here specifically, besides the fact that you're looking for an alien civilization. The prototype time machine is an adaptation of an artifact discovered by my father in the Rubahari. The range of configurations was limited. I believe that in 200 years, technology would have progressed far enough to make my work easier. But things have not quite gone as expected. However, this situation may still provide some benefits. For one, it allows me to work without social or political limitations. I find that's good enough reason to remain for the time being. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. I've got to get going. Alright. Alright. Alright, alright. That's, that that's all you say. Hmm. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Do you like- do you live here? Are you gonna go inside? Oh, he is. I was gonna wonder for a second if this was like the the corn house. That would be a strange place for you to live. So are you here to take a job? Uh, what jobs can I take? John Cabot needs three components to make his machine work: a polished reflector, a high-powered coil, and a signal focuser. I've tracked down the locations of each of them. So which one sounds interesting to you? Okay, so you're not so much a finder as a locator. Important distinction. Ah, uh, tell me about the polished reflector. The polished reflector is in the possession of a certain viper leader named Pattinson, who is in charge of an unusually large gang. You will need to break into the viper camp and steal the component. I'll take it. Good luck. Okay, can I... Can I do multiple things at, at, at once? Kappa's Quest 2, Polished Reflector. Not the greatest subtitle, but it'll work. How's that job going? Can we... I want to start a job. Which one are you interested in? All of them. This component belongs to an important businessman from California. He is willing to trade it to us in exchange for a bottle of an antique wine. I happen to know of a cellar where you will be likely to find one. Unfortunately, a group of raider wine connoisseurs have made the place their home. You'll be getting the bottle and going to the deal to trade it with a businessman. Okay, Raider Wine Connoisseurs. That's exceptionally unlikely, but I'll take it. Good luck. Okay. Cabot's Quest 2. High-powered coil. How's that job going? This is the nerdiest sequence of films I have ever heard Which of. Which one are you interested in? All of them. This component is somewhere in Steep Falls Cave. Last I heard, the cave was uninhabited, so this job should be simple. I'll take it. Good luck. Thank goodness. Well, I don't know if maybe the mod author just didn't know how to implement um, multiple objectives into the quests. I don't know. This is kind of weird that you would structure it this way, especially since, like, you know, I'm gonna want to get everything at once. So where's what's the closest one? Looks like it's gonna be that one. Like, significant margin. Alright, let's start at the Silver Peak Inn. Silver Peak Mine. Uh, and get some hair, good lord. Right. So I do have some animation replacers. Um, the firing is by Hitman, and the reloads are by Rockbiter. They are very good. I'm glad we're in this, like, enlightened phase of uh, New Vegas animation modding, where we're just trying to, like, make the vanilla stuff better, instead of just trying to remake them all entirely. Hmm. 
This isn't excessive. Ooh, this looks new. Okay, is this the Viper camp? Find a vantage point and scout out the enemy base with your int scope. I don't think that's how that line of dialogue went, but it's been forever since I played Metal Gear Solid 5. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Man, the first opportunity that I have to actually use my binoculars, and uh, I have the, the vision thing not set to where I don't have these weird blocks. Ain't that something. Okay, wine. Oh, these are the wine. <laughs> the wine wasters. All right. Key masters and clippers. I wonder if the key master that's just a weird class name, or if they've got, like, a... Like, actually got a key on them. So this is cool, actually. You know, how we actually have, like, this base that we're assaulting. It's not, like, just a bunch of dudes standing around. Oh. Uh, Proxima's just gonna screw up our strategy over here. <laughs> Very nicely designed area. I like this place. I like it a lot. A lot of efforts uh, went into making this place like look pretty good. I like the bridge here, built with like these stacked uh, crates. It's not very safe, but it's pretty nice. Can we head into the roof? Uh, that would be cool. Oh, that looks so cute. Shouldn't let your cutlery stay in your meat like that, though. Uh, oh. If we could go down the chimney, this mod would be perfect. Alright. Some pretty inspired level design here. Where's key? Where's that key master then? Oh, is this? I'm thinking, is this like the, uh. <laughs> is this the, uh, foolproofing? So that if you come here before you do this quest, you can't get in? Like the key master, because the key master isn't spawned, I wonder? Seems likely. Here for the cheese. How could you have all this wine and no cheese? People are animals. Still locked? Inaccessible. Right, I guess that's where we're going. True police. Uh, whoops. In poor taste, I suppose. But uh, it's not my fault she stood right in front of it. Alright, Proxima, why don't you hang out here with the wine? Don't drink it. Your delicate doggy stomach cannot handle it. I've heard dogs can actually get drunk off, like, grapes. 
would be horrible. very green down here. Just take some of your finest vintage red. That'll do. Man, it must have been tedious as hell to place all these bottles. Ugh, I do not envy the mod author. It looks cool. There's something innately satisfying just seeing a bunch of loose items on a shelf. Okay, this appears to be the industrial section of the wine tasting club. That's interesting. What the hell? Rare wine. Shit. Uh oh. Ow. Ow. Wait a minute. Ah. I had a breathing mask. Not that it probably would have mattered. Awake after a while. Shit. What right. do we do, Terry? Sarah's almost back, and we got someone in the safe room. She'll kill us. Okay, I'm not naked. Okay, just calm down, Eric. We'll go in there and take them out before they wake up and sneak their body out of here. Yeah, yeah, good plan. Let's do this. I wish I could right? kick this table over. I got you. How do you do? Can't imagine that's what they were expecting to find on the other end of that door. Man, they must- they would feel pretty silly if they knew how long I was out. Uh, the universe did not do you guys a favor. Alright, well that was cute. I like that. What the? Oh. Oh, this is cool. Yes. Yeah, like, this is what I mean about some inspired level design. Just having this cute little stock shelf behind the ladder here. I like wine too, but it's not a replacement for a personality. Good lord. Hello, Sala. You're dead. Jiroshi's footlocker key. Okay. Question Who is Jiroshi? Was there a Jiroshi here? I don't know. I killed everyone too quickly. Probably be easier to just look for a footlocker. Like here, here we go. Pa 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 coo. Okay. This might be a reference I don't understand. Jiroshi, you're a great boss and all, and I have respect for you, but I don't think I'm getting enough credit here. You give your new gun Jerry's 
You give your new gun Jerry's stupid name instead of one which would be actually informative. Who did you go to when you needed to increase the rate of fire? Jerry? I don't think so. He couldn't fix anything to save his life. No offense, here's the short of it. Where is my name? I made that mod. I'll leave this in your footlocker so you can read it when I get back. Okay. Well, nice that we know what the gun does. Um, this weapon seems kind of trash, actually. Eight damage. 258 DPS. Um, I wish I could. I wish I had a nine mm SMG with me, so I could show you how much DPS that does. Holy shit! <laughs> well, it does shoot pretty damn fast. I don't know. That's uh, some pretty poor damage. Um. Ah, this camera angle doesn't work in my favor. Nice texture. Little caution stripe on it. Looks quite nice, actually. Spring outfits. Axe. Okay. Jiroshi's terminal. I'm not reading all this. Unless this one's short. Score. The raiding party I sent out came back with something unbelievable. The guy said he saw something shiny buried in a ditch on the way back and wants to investigate. Turns out it was only a bottle of the most legendary wine of the entire Mojave. Effing hell, I'm too excited to think about anything else. I'm keeping this one on lockdown in that safe room in the cellar. I think we're really starting to make it big. Some of the older members are getting careless and arrogant. They're slaughtered entire caravans, including non-combatants, and leaving fucking calling cards. I swear I half hope some of them get taken down by the NCR so they learn their damn lesson. This continues to happen, we're going to attract unnecessary heat. So I'll go tell him to cut the bullshit. Anyway, I met this new recruit called Sarah yesterday. She's better than most of my guys, and her taste is pretty refined as well. I might have had her in charge of this base while I'm away. I'll probably send her on a raid and see if she's got what it takes. It's been forever since I've left this area. I've been itching to take the visit to the Ultralux again. I don't like to leave base, but I trust my boys to handle anything, and maybe I'll buy something to take back with me on all the money we've stolen. Okay... Well, I did not see a Jiroshi at the Ultralux. Guess we can just keep that in mind. Oh, we even got lights. I really like this uh, exterior. This would be a good set for like a machinima or something. Machinima. Is, is, is Machinima even relevant anymore? Also, I'm noticing... Uh, I gotta add... This area... To the Change Nights for my... Uh, blue Moon Lighting mod. Okay, well we got that one. From the cave. Okay, that's the last one I'm gonna do. A Viper Leader. Sit on down to Novak. Alright then. Let's have a cocktail, a little water. I'm gonna accidentally eat this and kill myself, aren't I? Probably. Should probably eat too. Alright, that should be good. And where are we going? This way. be on the lookout. Legion spawns like to happen around here. Okay. Right over here, you say? Nope, oh, the hell? 
Piper recruits. You should have sent more, I'm, I'm just saying. Cavern of the Sons. Oh, that sounds interesting. Oh, this looks so cool. Ah, oh, this looks awesome. I love creative use of assets like this. What even are these? Are these just... Are these just planks and the mod author just like built this structure out of them? Like a... Let me check. Or is this just a single structure? I can't tell. Yeah, is, is it just a single structure? Huh, because I don't recognize this mesh. Maybe the mod author created it? I don't know. Cavern of the Serpent requires key. Yeah, I'm guessing you need... Ah! Oh, son of a... I'm guessing you have that. Mm-hmm. So, um... This is actually... If this is... If what's happening here is what I think is happening, and that is, um, these NPCs with the keys uh, appear to allow you to get in here, but uh, keep you from getting in here before the quest, rather. Um, didn't really need to do that. You could have just, like, called an unlock, um, in, like, a script or something. I don't know. My god, the door is loud. Okay, did... No, oh, I didn't tell Proxy to follow me, damn it. Luckily... Don't step on the bear trap, Proxima. Hello? Hi there. Bye there. So do we have multiple paths, or no? Alright. Uh, Caught me at a bad time. I shot five bullets out of my 200 round mag, and I had to reload. of a difficulty drop, I would say. That uh, final battle at the wine tasting place was a much heavier prospect than this, but maybe I'll be surprised. Ah, uh, what is this? Mismatched tile sets. That won't do at all. Um... So I don't know if maybe the mod author just kind of figured, hey, this doesn't look like that big of a deal, because there are some situations with this tile set where, like, the room, the layout you really want doesn't quite fit with the tile set. But what you can do is just take, like, a rock or something and just cover it up, basically. Um, I use that quite extensively, that method quite extensively in a Axeman's dungeon for his quest. It's basically using rocks and stuff to create like this almost almost unique cave even though it is all vanilla assets. Okay, it's just the sleeping room, I guess. and little holes. So atmospheric. Ooh, hello. 
What is this? The Society of the Viper. Um, you shouldn't burn tires, like, in general, but uh, you should definitely not burn them indoors. Um, that's a good way to die. Now, this place looks pretty cool. I'm getting a little... Well, I don't want to turn my... Yes, Proxima, I know I'm being weird, but I just want to check my frame rate right here. Yeah, I am noticing a bit of a small performance issue in this room. Um, I'm not sure if you can see my Steam overlay, but I'm just flipping it on real quick to see the FPS. That was a big stutter right there, actually. Yeah, a bit of a performance drop in here. Come on! Oh. Alright, well, we can just toss that up there for you. Maybe that got him. Anybody Ooh, there? Custom textures. Oh my gosh, this place is amazing. This is so cool. Yeah, oh, that was a frame rate hit. One for the price of three. Like yeah, the frame rate hit is starting to get pretty bad. Now that combat's starting to happen. So what's definitely causing it is all these light sources. This place is really cool, though. Holy crap. I love this place. Hey. Yeah, but uh, all these light sources... Uh, definitely gonna cause you performance problems. Hello. Sure, don't mind if I do. Oop, that turbo? Don't mind if I do. I'm trying to think, there are ways you can optimize stuff like this, um, not with the usual stuff, because uh, it doesn't quite work. I mean, honestly, if we're talking about optimization, probably what would help a lot is just this one spot right here. I'm guessing every single one of these uh, lanterns has a light marker, and that's probably big uh, hits on FPS, just having so many lights like that. Um, but you could probably use like a script to just turn off certain lights when the player is in certain areas. That would probably help. But I don't know. It's just it's kind of just this area is a is a worst case scenario for the engine. Just big, open, super layered. It looks awesome. Don't get me wrong, but uh, the engine would struggle with it. And I have a pretty powerful PC. So. I'm, I'm trying to imagine what it'd be like if I did not have a super powerful PC. It'd probably be pretty bad. Approximate view? Okay. Alright. Have a little fire! Right. You can't hide from me! There we go. Alright. You should be dead. Holy shit. There we go. 
you will be dead soon. Oddly enough, when I'm over here, the performance is fine. I guess uh, I might be out of range for a lot of the lights, so like, um, a lot of them are just hidden. Yeah, you can actually see, see in the corner there. Yeah. So, uh, I mean that works out, I guess. Also, mod author, if you happen to watch this, um. guy real quick so I can make this point. Um, Mod Arthur, I just want to say I do not feel bad at all that I cannot go into these many, many buildings. Um, that would just bloat this building, just this area, just immensely, and uh, would actually hamper my enjoyment of it. Because I, I do like it just moving through this dense city area, but if I could go into every one of these buildings, I would, like, feel some obligation to do that, and that would suck. So, uh, good on you for not doing that. Okay, where are we going? Okay, where are we going, actually? Up here? What's this? Is this a secret? Yes, Proxima. Platforming in this game sucks. Don't blame me. Okay, where the hell are we going, though? So we came through here this way. Am I missing something? Can we go under? Ah, here we go. Who's there? It's me! Ah. Merry Christmas. Uh, something I'm noticing... Actually, never mind. Forget I said anything. Ignore me. Alright, so yeah, this is definitely where... We were trying to get to. I really like this Viper place. Though the Vipers were always like a really super minor faction, but this place um, really makes me curious. Like, people did more with them. Watch out! Here, here's the bathroom. World building. We know everything about the society. Where they eat, where they live, where they sleep, where they poop. Not enough mod authors go with that level of detail. To know every instance of the day in the life of a viper. Ooh. Got some more big cavernous areas. Was back there. Oh wait, this is I know where we are. It's one of those overlooks. Where's the one I killed with the grenade? 
I was hoping I'd find this charred body up here. Mildly disappointing. Oh, this looks so cool. Okay. Okay, I was just about to say, this feels like boss time. So, we have an intro over our midst. It is not every day that we find someone brave enough to attack us and strong enough to survive. But you will not remain unchallenged. In this sacred pit, we will demonstrate the might of the new vipers. Follow us to the great snake. First, eight recruits. Yeah, I've never seen many so far, but how will you fail without the element of surprise? Okay, I have no idea what you're saying because the subtitles went away and your voice is a little, uh... Holy crap, this is awesome. Oh my gosh. Holy shit, the game almost crashed. Okay, I'm gonna save real quick, actually. Um... Game? Game. Okay, thank god. The game didn't crash. Ah, this is so awesome. Like, they're jumping down from the stands and everything. This is so cool. Wish we had some like kicking action music to go on here though. I played plenty of deathmatch in my day. That is so cool how they actually jump down from the stand. I would say if uh, if I did this, I wouldn't go to that type of effort, but I don't think I'd be able to make something this cool to begin with, so. Hey! are actually not super great at dealing with that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you know, unlike some mods that I've tried to play but uh, didn't record, um, being surrounded by on all sides like this is fine because I actually have cover. Holy crap. You look to eat at everyone who has sent at you, but there, there is still one last test to be conducted here. Behold, the Elite Rashas, the champion of the Great Snake himself. Hey, uh, Proxima. Let me snag this real quick. Is that guy wearing Dweamer armor? What's up, David Lachas? Ah, he dodged. Proxima, I, I, I. Ah, damn it. Proxima, come on. This is the co-op boss battle. I need another rocket. Ah. Ow, son of a bitch! This is so cool. This is this is actually really awesome. Shit. 
I just scored a headshot with a rocket. You should be bowing down to me as your new god. Oh my gosh, that th this is this is like my favorite sequence in a mod in like the last <laughs> with the last several not several years because oh my god that'd be a long time, but in a long time. Holy crap, that was so cool. Armor of the Hunt. LR model S4494. Sure, why not? Uh, not much for power armor, and it's kind of dirty. That's cool, though. My goodness. The production value on the mod description certainly continues through the rest of the game. Okay, let me just repair this, see what it looks like. 46. Shoots green lasers. Wait a minute, is this recharge? No. Oh, it uses electron charge packs. Interesting. So I don't know if this weapon has any like special quirks, but it's got a nice enough texture. I'll use it until we run out of ammo. That arena fight was so cool, like seriously. What the hell is this? Why is this here? Not here. I'll just snoop on his terminal. Philosophy of the New Vipers. Background. The Vipers originate from a group of travelers from Vault 15, with its leader, Jonathan Faust, emerging after meeting the Great Snake in person in the pit of its children. He taught the chosen of his band of the way, and thus the Vipers were born. Faust, now the Great Snake Keeper, led his disciples to wealth, health, and happiness through sacrifice to the children in the pits and the shrine established around it. When the great snake keeper grew old, he passed down the mantle of leadership to his son Asp, the first high priest. Uh, this is a lot of lore. Okay, they fought fiercely and inflicted heavy casualties. Okay, so this is vanilla lore, I'm pretty sure. Upper territory. General philosophy of the new vipers. Rituals. Vipers at the height of their power would, under High Priest Asp, engage in major rituals of the Great Snake. Among them was a monthly connection with the Great Snake by all members through ingestion of the venom of the children with alcohol. A second connection was made each month by the High Priest and Priestesses through a smaller dose of the venom, which created a less powerful link with the advantage of clearer communication. Okay, this is... okay. My god. You fooled me with the first terminal that you would have reasonably length articles. I'm not reading all this. I'm so I'm sorry. Um, I think I've said this already, but I think I might make a video detailing why I hate info dumps like that. Wait a minute. Wait, I'm not done here. Right, where is Trumbull Scotch? The desk, globe, poison refrigerator. Okay, polish reflector. Right. Where'd the old guy go? Are they all gonna show up later, I guess? Well, there's a key if you need it, which I did not. 